Hello and welcome to this evening's Book I Love video with Liam from Cheshire East Libraries. And today I'm going to be sharing my praise for... Dumpty, The Age of Trump in Verse, written by John Lithgow and published by Chronicle Books in 2019. You may be familiar with the author's name in the realms of film and television, particularly his stint in the 90s comedy Third Rock from the Sun and, most recently, his portrayal of Winston Churchill in The Crown. I'm a big fan of John Lithgow. I think he's one of the most underrated actors going in America, and, as this poetry collection demonstrates, he's also an underrated poet, too. I chose to read this book on the strength of my fandom for Lithgow, and also because I have a keen interest in keeping in tune with what's happening on the other side of the world. I mean, in the last four years, have you noticed how much Trump's presidency has made an impact on the book industry? And I particularly like quoting Colette Bancroft of the Tampa Bay Times, who coins the phenomena as, he might not have intended it, but Donald Trump has been good for book publishing. From an objective angle, love him or hate him, Trump's time in office has inspired some fantastic prose from the likes of Dave Eggers, Salman Rushdie and Howard Jacobson, who have endeavoured to explore what life has been like under the rule of a controversial tycoon. In a similar vein, Lithgow follows in their footsteps and presents a social commentary on the period and the figures he has become acquainted with during this enlightening chapter in American history. Instead of prose, Lifko utilises the power of poetry and draws upon strong inspiration from some of the craft's icons like Edward Lear, A. A. Milne and Lewis Carroll. You can pick up on these influences quite easily by the comical sketchings that accompanies Lithgow's poetry, and they are all hand-drawn by himself. In a press release, Lithgow admitted that when he was penning the book, he initially intended to omit Trump from his verse, and instead focus on the cast of characters that were associated with Trump's administration. Apart from Trump's family and Nancy Pelosi, who handed the impeachment case, a lot of the characters mentioned in this book went over my head. However, I liked this unfamiliarity as it educated me to recognise some of these political figures that we international spectators know very little about. And on many occasions I found myself doing a quick Google search to know a little bit more about them. And this may have been down to the fact that a lot of the names mentioned were either fired or resigned by the time of the book's publication. And as a result of this, Lithgow was pleased that the gamble paid off to develop more poems centred around the president's satirical double, Dumpty. Who can blame Lithgow for heading in this direction, as Trump could arguably be considered a satirist dream? As he's got distinctive mannerisms, he delivers nonsensical speeches, and everything about him is very reminiscent of a cartoon figure. It is collections like Dumpty which explain why the book industry is witnessing a renaissance in the popularity of satire, as Trump is such a playful figure to work with. I mean, he's even sparked the comeback of Spitting Image. Would you like me to share a taster of Lithgow's poetry? So I'll read you the first poem in the collection, which is called Trumpty Dumpty. Trumpty Dumpty wanted a wall to stir up a rabid political brawl. His Republican rivals, both feckless and stodgy, succumbed in the end to his rank demagogy. Dumpty's wall made no earthly sense, a boondoggle built at enormous expense, but he promised in speeches, despotic and shrill, 
he'd make certain that Mexico footed the bill. Shrumpty Dumpty kept insisting, more and more citizens started resisting. Sadly, there won't be an end to this tale, at least until reasonable people prevail. So, if you're in need of a giggle or you would like to know more about what life has been like in Trump's America, then Lithgow's Poetry Collection is a good entry point to answer that curiosity. And this collection has had such positive feedback that Lithgow has been spurred on to release another collection, which I think will be out later this year, and it's called Trumpty Dumpty Wanted a Crown. It will be intriguing to discover who will be exposed in the new set of verses and what Lithgow will have to say about the year that has followed since the release of his first book. So, add Dumpty to your reading list. It's one of those great books which you can digest in short bursts and pick up as and when you feel like. Thanks for listening to my review and I hope you will share my passion for why John Lithgow is making poetry great again. See you soon. Take care.